Hey guys, what's up? Tube 244 how are you guys doing today? And today we're starting a new game. It's probably going to be a two or three part series. This is Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the Nintendo 64. Uh, this is a game that I, I really enjoyed playing. Um, you know, it brought the Star Wars universe to life and it kind of fills in a lot of the gaps between what happens between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. And just, there was so much to discover in this game, and a lot of the gold, there, there are different medals, gold, silver, and bronze, and a lot of the gold medals I remember were really, really difficult. So here's a little bit of a demo, since it's going right into the demo and not allowing me to do anything here, but... Good morning, Wedge. So you get, like, different ships, and the amount, the cheats in this game were awesome, too, which I will show you probably in the last part. Some of the cheats will need them. And it is also home to one of the hardest levels in Nintendo 64 history, which we won't be going over today, uh, but we will be going over shortly. So, make sure if you uh, like the stream to subscribe to my channel, LoopDoop44. Become a member by emailing me at darkware19 at gmail.com, and you can like my Facebook. That would be at www.facebook.com slash oop 44 Alright, so we're going to get started with a new game. So there are a couple different chapters in this game, and there are a total of 5, 10, 6, 15 regular levels, 3 bonus levels, and a couple other things. So... Um, right now, we're just going to go till 8.30, probably, Eastern Time. And uh, see how we go from there. So we're going to start with the first level, which is Ambush at Moss Eisley. Moss Eisley obviously Early being the spaceport that Luke leaves from in New Hope. When he goes on the Millennium Falcon. So you can see there are different ships you can use. At every chapter you unlock, you can use another ship. But for this case, we're just going to use the ship assigned to us. Um, in this case, the X-Wing is the only ship we can use. There's also the A-Wing and the V-Wing, but the A-Wing we'll use a little later. The V-Wing we're not going to be using today at all, I don't think. But, so here we are, Moss Eisley. You can see all the ships here. We got the A-Wing, X-Wing, I went too fast there. The speeder is used for levels with uh, all-terrain armor transports or AT-ATs. You'll see what those look like later. There's the Millennium Falcon, but we, we'd have to unlock that later. Uh, there's the Y-Wing. That's the V-Wing. That's what it looks like. It's really only exclusive to this game. It's not really in any of the movies. Here's the Naboo Starfighter, which we can also use, but I'm going to avoid it for now. I want to get more of a natural one here. So don't worry about additional training. So we'll be starting in just a minute. The Incom T-65 X-Wing is the fighter that killed the Death Star. The it fighter that the killed monster. the Death Star? Uh, that's a bit of a funny word. This the fighter of choice for Rogue Squadron. I don't think it should be killed, should it? In addition to four blaster cannons, the X-Wing can carry a number of proton torpedoes. It's powered by four fusel thrust engines requires an onboard astromech droid for peak performance. For peak performance. I did not mean to press B, I meant to press A. I'm going to probably be doing that a lot because I've been playing on the Switch lately where B is A and A is B. So hopefully I don't mess that up. 15 regular levels and 3 that need to eat more fiber. What, bonus levels? Alright, can I skip this? Yes, I can. Good. So here we are on Tatooine. Good we all wound up on Tatooine. So the goal of this one, as it will say here, uh, we don't have the mission goals yet. I depressed it too early. But we got to shoot these little droids here, and they're, it's actually really tough to do. I'm going to try and use as few blasters as possible, because then... Um, my accuracy rating. Ooh, that was close. My accuracy rating will be higher. Ooh, and they only take one shot, so it's not like it's crazy. But this is the easiest level in the game. Oh, okay, that works. Ah, the probe droid went. Yeah. 
he just went, yeah! Oh wait, that was one of my guys. <laughs> Whoopsies. Alright, boom, you're dead. Oh no, there's still one left. Oh, he's, he's above me. We jump straight into the action. That's true. You mean the tutorial, not the traditional. That's what you meant to say, right, Prophet Wing? <laughs> I think you meant to say tutorial. Yeah, there's no tutorials in this level. This essentially is the tutorial of Moss Eisley. It's an easy level. Okay. Turning around. So you may have noticed that... Uh, in an earlier video, I did both. I did um, an earlier video called "Completing a Level by Only Crashing" on Rogue Squadron, and I missed him. And believe it or not, it is true. You can do that. It's kind of crazy, but whatever. Oh, there's another second. No, I meant traditional. Protect the homestead. Oh. I thought you were talking about how easy the level was. Uh, whoops. Maybe I'm nuts, but this actually looks easier to play than the X-Wing series. Um, well, the I personally think the X-Wing series is a little bit better, but I actually never had X-Wing. I had um TIE Fighter, which is basically X-Wing, except everything is dark side themed. But trust me, Prophet Wing, this game has the hardest level of any level that I know of in any video game on the N64. I mean, I would say this is even harder than like Whizpig and Diddy Kong Racing, but nobody talks about it because not many people play this game or have played this game. But it's it's tough. It's not this it's not gonna be in this video. But Alright. Kill. These are TIE Bombers, which are the same as TIE Fighters, but they are uh, they can bomb things. Stop bombing the city! Get back here! Get back here! Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, I died, but fine. I still completed the mission. <laughs> I'll take it. I just went crashing. Luke, you're dead. You can't be talking right now. And we got a gold medal on our first mission. So you'll see here for the gold medal requirements that there are different requirements. So completion time, that's how quickly you, you beat the level. Enemies destroyed, that's how many enemies you destroy, obviously. Accuracy is what I was talking about before. Uh, the more items you hit with your weapons or enemies or even neutral items it can be like you know there are some buildings in some of the levels that are just neutral buildings as long as you shoot stuff your accuracy will go up friendly saves is how many there are items in each level that need to be saved and if you save them then you get a friendly save in this case there were 51 because you're talking about literally the entirety of Moss Eisley as well as all the homesteads but in some levels they'll just be one, and some levels they'll be zero. And they're not even necessarily vital to the mission either. And bonus is collected. Uh, we won't get a bonus collected uh, for a while. So we don't need to worry about that, but they give us uh, upgrades and stuff. But they are required for gold medal runs. You may be right thanks to the fact that Capcom never made a Ghosts and Goblins game for N64. I might be. Um, the level in question is called Raid on Sullust. And you only get three lives, but you're in the slowest ship in the game. And there's literally a bunch of different transmitters you have to hit, and they're all surrounded by enemies. And there are so many missile turrets that home in on you that it, it's just... I think when we get to it, I'm not even going to try and do it with three lives. I'm just going to choose a cheat to get us more lives. I hate doing it, but I'll think about it. But it won't be in this part. It's much further in the game. So we start with a gold medal, and now we do Rendezvous on Barkash. This is the level where if you continuously crash, uh, you will uh, eventually beat the level regardless. Albeit, you won't get a medal, probably, but... 
So we're going to do Rendezvous on Barkash. And see if we can get a gold medal on this one. Probably not. This one's a bit trickier. Squadron. This is General Riken. One of our shuttles I can't skip will rendezvous that, but with a small convoy from local resistance on Barkash, which must first travel through Imperial territory. So this is supposed to be like a jungle planet, but it, it really does not look like a jungle rendezvous planet. Rendezvous with that convoy and escort it to the landing zone. Good luck. Right. All right. Here we go. Luke. Now, I like to do this a very specific way, so I'm going to do it that way. We're going to kill this uh, ATSD here. Boom. There's another one over here somewhere. There he is. Oh! Jeez, I got too close to it. I thought I, thought I was going to kill it before I hit it. <laughs> Whoops. That's going to complicate things. There's another one. I need better blasters, but I don't get better blasters until much later in the game. Alright, so these annoying things are turbo lasers. There's the other one. Alright, Mr. ATSTs. Don't die again! <laughs> we only have a limited amount of lives, so... Alright, go back around this way. E. Okay, so what will happen is with the X-Wing and the Y-Wing, it has an uh, R2-D2 in it, so you'll gain health going after a while. Okay, so we got to look out for some Thai bombers that are going to come out of this side of the map. There they are. And we got to kill them. Before they destroy those, uh... Alright, we got them. Now I want to go over this way. There's a giant turret here. I better use No, 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 not that button. Not that button. Commander, this is Riken. It's imperative you I was trying to use vehicle. my torpedoes. No, not again. Oh god. Which is the torpedo button? Oh, it's left C. Jesus. There we go. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. That was crazy. I, I should be dead by now, but I'm not. I just can't die again. Because if I die again, I run out of lives. So left C is proton torpedoes. Got it. Alright, now i got to find where the convoy is. Prophet Wing, what did you think of that reaction? That was horrible. It's like, no, I didn't mean to press that button. That reminds me when I was playing Mystery Dungeon, I would do that a lot. Alright, so there should be some more Thai bombers coming from this side somewhere. I'm just trying to find it. I don't see them yet. But I don't remember exactly where they come from. I just got some schmutz on my screen here. Oh, we're turning around. There they are. Oh, that was close. I wish... No, 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 no! Oh, that was close. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so worried about dying because we're so close to finishing this mission now. Uh, okay. Um, and the convoy is going to meet up here. And there's going to be one more TIE bomber that we need to take care of. Once we do that, we're pr practically free to do whatever we want. Also, I think there's a side bomber near the beginning of the level, too, but I don't remember. Alright, where is this bugger? I don't remember wh which direction he comes from.
Hmm. Where is he? There he is. I don't think so. All right, let's see if we can kill some probe droids before the uh, end of the level, so we can get our enemy count up here. Hopefully, without dying. One, we got two. Because eventually the level is just going to end as soon as the rendezvous is made. There it goes. It just ended. All right, so we completed that mission, but we we did crash twice, so that wasn't great. But we were able to stop. So when you see stuff like certainly after we lost Yavin base, that proves that this is, takes place after A New Hope. All right, I got a bronze. I could have done a lot better than that. Let's see what we uh, messed up on or didn't quite get. Yeah, I feel bet a feeling it was enemies destroyed. Yeah, we did well in everything else, though, but we didn't kill enough enemies. It's an easy level to fix. If we have to go back and fix it for some reason, we can. Alright, so here's the search for the Nona, and this is the first time that you get to use a ship that is not the X-Wing. This is an A-Wing, which is a high-speed interceptor type of uh, thing. It's really fast, hard to control. It also has very poor shields. So it's tricky. But so the Nona is randomly uh, generated, so it could be in any one of three spots. Capacitor time. The rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in the vicinity. All right, here we go. Is it this Friday? Oh Jesus. This thing is so hard to control. Alright, so these TIE Interceptors are really fast. Are you, are you trailing him? Stop trailing him. Alright, so first we'll go this way. This music, by the way, Prophet Wing, I'm sure you recognize, is called Where is the Ship? That's the name of the music. But you can see this ship is much faster than the x wing by a long shot. But it also doesn't have an astromech droid, so we can't heal ourselves. Alright, is the Nona back here? It... I don't know yet. It... Is. Here it is. Okay, Rose. Let's keep the crew out of danger until our shuttle can pick them up. So we just gotta wait. There's gonna be an Imperial shuttle that lands nearby. Yes, I am G7% sure I can get this done too. Let me get back there though, otherwise I won't have a chance. The Nona is reporting that they're under attack. So this shuttle that's landing right now is about to land out some Imperial troops. And there they go. So we gotta kill these tanks. And there's an ATSD we gotta kill too. They got those tanks. I've got the tanks, don't worry. Come on, die! What the heck? <laughs> I'm blasting missile after missile and he doesn't die. Alright, kill this last tank. Oh, my blasters got messed up for a second there. Give me that tank. Alright, so now we should get pelted by bombers. These TIE bombers, they don't leave us alone. And they're in most of the levels in Chapter 1. So we gotta figure out where they're coming from. They're coming from over here. You can see on the radar there's some red dots. Alright, there's one right behind me. I'm gonna let him pass me. No! Don't touch that! Yeah, you're dead. See you later. 
Alright, there's some ATPTs over there. What? Where are the bo- Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Yeah, I'll get the ATPTs later. They're not that much of a threat. Oh, jeez. I gotta stop hitting these guys. And that's how I killed them. Like, it's crazy. Ugh, I missed that one. Get back here! Get back here, sonny boy. Alright, where are the last two bombers? Here they come. We're gonna make a tight hairpin turn here. It's like Star Fox. This game is very similar to Star Fox. So now all we gotta do is protect the shuttle as it leaves the planet. First I wanna kill some ATPTs because they suck. Up oh, my accuracy rating. And essentially we just have to protect the shuttle essentially. And they're going to be coming at high speed here. These interceptors. Where's the shuttle? I want to go follow it. Yeah, they're coming from all sides. Oh, shoot! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just crashed. I better, I better go help that shuttle out. Come on. Dead. Do you stop shooting at the shuttle? That's what I thought. Come back here. No! No! I don't want to die. Not now. I do not want to die right now. Eesh. Because these interceptors, they will kill you. Alright, we got it. We got it. Rogue leader, get your squadron out of there. <laughs> All right, that was the search for the Nona. And we're going to get a bronze on this one, too. I'm wondering if it was my accuracy that was low. No, it was enemies destroyed again. Yeah, I think I'm rushing through these a little bit too fast. Well, with the next level, it's an extremely long, tedious, and boring level. But it's not really boring, I guess. It's just long. And by the way, Prophet Wing, your prediction of G7% was absolutely correct, whatever that means. <laughs> so we're going to go to Corellia, which is Han Solo's home planet. And this time we're going to play as a speeder. Now, the, the, the speeder only pops up in levels where there are all-terrain armor transports, or AT-ATs. They look like camels. And basically you have to use tow cable to trip them up. And it can be very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so it might take me a couple of tries to get through this, but this is also a very long level. Uh, I think it's like 10, 15 minutes. It's a really ridiculous amount. So we're going to be the speeders and we're going to head over to Corellia. This is Luke Skywalker. Go ahead. I have received word an Imperial officer. Kriegs Dean wants, wants to defect. To Apparently has a lot of information on the Empire's military ground operations. I'm going to contact him after my meeting with the city officials in the capital tower. Keep your eyes open for any... So Crix Maydeen wants to defect to the Rebel Alliance. Yes, and I think uh, you will be surprised because Han Solo will pop up later in this level. Picking up something strange on my scope. So this part I struggle with only because you can't really see because it's dark and also my screen is smaller so this is gonna really be tricky but there are some probe droids back here All right, what's the uh, R button again I have an R break can I not do both at once I used to be able to do that that's gonna make things difficult
All right, let's find these probe droids. I'm going by my shadow, the shadows right now. Good enough. Whoa. Problem is I can't double break. I usually can double break. But you can't do it for some reason here. I don't know why. Get back here as soon as you can. Rogue group, we are under. And here those TIE bombers back again. And now we gotta defeat each and every one of them. So this is like a sequence phase type of uh, level where everything goes in phases. The unfortunate thing about this, the speeder though is you can't get really high uh, up in the sky. Like, there's an atmosphere thing preventing you from doing that. That's why you'll never see the speeders in space, obviously. That, I mean, the speeders are normally uh, on the planets anyway. Okay, we gotta find more TIE bombers because there are plenty of them. And yes, these bombers can destroy the capital tower. Oh, my accuracy is going to stink in this one. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Right, here they come. Actually, they're heading away from the city. Well, this one isn't. Boom, boom. This music is really, really good in this game. Uh, this music's called Bomber Mission, and it's too short, unfortunately. Alright, whatever. I was just trying to get another enemy destroyed if I could, but... Alright, there should be some bombers here somewhere. I'm not immediately seeing them. On my radar. But they're here, all right. Here they come. Well, actually, they're again going away. I think these are the last two in this area. Jeez, my accuracy is horrible. Boo! How do you like that? How do you like it? Uh, no, there's still one more. At least. That's not them. There's still one more. But I don't know where it is. Could be anywhere. What do you find? Oh, no, that's not it. Where is this last... Ah, oh, there he is. I see him. Get back here. There we go. He's gone. Can you hear me? Rogue Squadron, this is Crix Mady. The attack came before I could reach Ryken. And I pinned down in the tech center. Can you get me out? Alright, we gotta go over to the tech center. Luke, I've got my hands full. Can you get them? Wedge Antilles was actually also born on Corellia. Can we kill any of these boats? Thank you. So the tech center is over here. Yeah, you can see them there. They're dropping bombs and stuff. So these guys go in like a figure eight pattern, so it can be a little bit tricky. But if you can kind of predict where they're gonna be, then you can get them. Oh, they're, they're coming right for me, holy crap. Yikes. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And yes, the tech center can be destroyed as well. All right, we got to go back to our next phase. Before we do that, I want to... All right, let me watch the cutscene. How much naval? Um, there's a little bit. The, la the last level in this game is actually a naval level completely. Kind of. But if we go down here, if I can find it, that yellow thing, 
That's a bonus. We spotted an Imperial Walker on approach to the Capitol Tower. And if I could just die, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. No, 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 no! So that yellow thing is a bonus that we need to collect. It gets us advanced proton torpedoes. So we need to try and get that before we get back to the... All right, I'm going to get this time. Pull up! All right, I just wasted two lives trying to get that, so... Hopefully we don't die a third time. Because then it's game over. But anyway, let's head on back. And I'm going to show you guys how to take out Imperial Walkers. Because it is frustrating. But it has to be done. Here comes uh, Han Solo. So this is an AT-AT. -AT, and I just hope that I do not crash. Is it left? Yes. So you gotta go around three times. Without dying, of course. And it's a lot, it's harder than it looks. It really is harder than it looks. Because if you make a wrong turn, or that front leg catches your ship, you're dead. All right, we're gonna have to get Crix Maydean again. Let's take care of these bombers first, right here. Oh, stop! Okay. Romp. <laughs> Romp. Dewey says we should start evacuating the people off the top of the Capitol towers. All right. So now we need to go over to this area. This is the last one of the last sections of this mission. As you can see, it is very long. But we gotta take care of the scout walkers first, and hopefully I don't die while trying to do this. Oh, I'm shooting at the... Mm. Ah! Alright, here we go. See, I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure if I'm gonna make that kill. And I don't have any, you know, live stuff, so I gotta make sure I get it right. Alright, that one's gone. That one's gone. I had one more hit on it. That's all I needed. Now to take care of this AT-AT. And hopefully I don't die. It's mostly straightforward. And I'm saying mostly. But it can be difficult to corral these guys. And that should do it. Commander Skywalker, we're dispatching a shuttle to evacuate Maydean. Keep those ties off its back. So now we have the last phase of this thing, and then they're evacuating Maydean, and we need to take care of the TIE fighters that pop up. Right here. So these are ordinary TIE fighters. Come on, shoot! My accuracy is going to be so bad for this level, it's not even funny. All right, there were three more ties. I gotta go get those. Where are they? There they are. Come on, one last tie fighter to go. Let's do this. Got him. Boom, he's dead. I think that's all of them. I hope that's all of them. So at this point, we can just let the shuttle get away. Kill a couple stormtroopers. Maybe kill some speeders if I can find them. Boom. 
Yeah, this time I'm definitely making sure we kill some more enemies. Because I want to make sure I get like a decent medal on this, you know? There's another one out there. Oh, I don't want to be hit. Why am I not hitting this? Okay. Alright, that should do it. Thanks, Rogue Group. I am clear. And here we go. And... Kablamo! Luke. You held them off long enough. We evacuated everyone just in time. Thanks to Captain Solo and Chewbacca. Hello, Dr. Mad uh, Studio. Nice for you to join us. We've just finished Defection of Corellia. And we'll see what medal we get. I'm not entirely sure. I'm hoping we get a gold, but... Nope, we got a silver, but that's still better than a bronze, which we've gotten on the last two levels, which isn't great. So we have one gold, one silver, two bronzes. We've been promoted to Enzyme. Okay, it took us too long... And I knew accuracy was going to be a problem. Hey, Prophet Wing. Anyway, yeah, you know, I, I love British stuff. I really do. So it's lo it's lovely to see people from Britain coming on over. Speaking of this, Prophet Wing, did you see the new uh, Doctor Who trailer that came out? I don't know if I sent it to you or not, but it's looking good. Alright, Liberation of Gerard 5 is up next. This is technically the last level of the first chapter of the game. And this one's actually kind of tricky, because in this one, it might take us a couple of tries. Because we gotta protect the Y wings, and that's actually really difficult to do. Don't worry, we're not so helpless. In other words, you're very helpless, so I have to protect your butt. Remember, let the Y wings take care of the yacht. Rogue Squadron flies cover. Rogue Squadron was your first Star Wars game. My only regret was not collecting every single gold medal to unlock the. Actually, you don't need to collect every single gold medal to unlock the Millennium Falcon. To unlock the Millennium Falcon, there's two ways to do it. The first way is by using a code called Farm Boy on the passcodes menu. And the second way to do it is by getting bronze medals. Oh, actually, yes, you do need to get all, all the golds because you do need to unlock those levels. But you, if you use Dead Deck, you don't have to. So there's some codes and stuff you can use. Now, these are missile turrets. Missile turrets are very annoying. And they will damage your ships. Because they've got homing missiles. Alright, there's a turbo laser somewhere. There it is. Help me out, Yub. Yeah, you're not clear, so don't say you are. Alright, there's some ATPTs here as well. Seems to be one more turbo laser in there somewhere. I don't see it though. I doubt I'll ever get round to that since I really have to. Yeah, no. Yep. With me, I'm working a full time job as well, so I totally get you. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. We've got trouble. It's 128 high in the sense of quarters. Now the bat to the bat. Cut the chatter. Wait. Alright, we gotta. I want to kill this turret first. Oh boy. Whoa, okay, I killed it. I killed it. Give me credit. I killed it before he killed me. But that's only our first death, so that's not too bad. But we got to take care of these missile turrets, or else we're going to have a serious problem. Ah, here comes the TIE Interceptor Squadron. No, 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 no. Boom. Twenty fifteen, yeah. 
Well, well uh, me and Profit Wing, we still watch the uh, classic series as well. We love the classic series. Probably more than the modern series. But yeah, I can understand why you left Doctor Who at that time. A lot of people were frustrated with the way Stephen Moffat was writing and then subsequently Chris Chibnall. No, no rear shields down. Darn, we lost one. We can't get a gold medal now. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't think it might be coming from the ground. Oh yeah, that could have something to do with it too. Never work for anyone by the name of Bill Bags. I will keep that in mind. Alright, there's still turbo lasers and I'm not seeing them. Maybe it really is the, the Interceptor Squadron. And they actually are really hard to kill. Like you can see this one's just messing around with me right now. You got banned from a Doctor Who convention? How does that even happen? That's actually crazy. Oh, it was their fault, you're saying. Yeah, no, I get you. I've uh, been to a Doctor Who convention, but I've only been to one. And it was here in the U.S. The U.S. ones are interesting. I've never actually been to Britain, believe it or not. I wish I could, though. I've always had a complicated history with the show anyway. Well, we don't have to talk about Doctor Who. I mean, there's plenty of other shows I enjoyed watching. There's, um... I remember I enjoyed David Suchet's Poirot. I know uh, my mom watches EastEnders, which is a good show, I think. Um... Oh, we just finished the level. Let's see how we did. Now, this level was actually a lot harder on paper. Like shooting Y-Wings, do ya? Here's a little message from Gold Squadron. This is Bill Bags. Please don't shoot me anymore. <laughs> yeah. So this is the end of Chapter One. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Doctor Matt Studio. We're the same age then, because I was also born in '93. Yeah. I um. I only know about it because I have it on DVD. My mom is a huge fan. So we got a bronze on Liberation of Jurid Five. I'm expecting to get mostly bronzes, only because I haven't played this for a while. But again, it was enemies destroyed. We were one enemy short. That's the second time that's happened. But, whatever. Yeah, 1993, that was the year I was born, too. But, like, all these... I got into Doctor Who in, like, 2006. That's kind of when I got interested. The first episode I ever saw was City of Death. Alright, so now we're going to go into Chapter 2. And um, we're going to be doing the Jade Moon. So this one is the beginning of Chapter 2. The levels start to get harder here. But Now what we can also do is go back and use uh, A-Wings in the previous levels. Except for Direction on Corellia. We can't do it. The Jade is mooning us. Prophet Wing, are you following this conversation right here? Oh, I can't skip this, so... I'll let it run, but... Yeah, um... What is the... Uh, Prophet Wing, what was that show with uh, Chris Barry in it that wasn't Red Dwarf? Was that the British Empire? British Empire is a good show. Red Dwarf is a good show. Obviously, Blake 7 is my favorite show, even though I wasn't around when it aired. It, again, my mom, being a huge fan of British television, she introduced me to a lot of these. Unexpected radio silence. Yeah, I mean, the new Star Wars movies, uh, whether you like them or not, they're there, you know. Um, I didn't hate any of them. I didn't think they were the best, but I also didn't hate them. They were good. And then, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi was fascinating. Oh, yeah. He's climbed higher and higher, and Trevor could have a cheese sandwich. Yep, I remember that. Would you like a claret or a Bordeaux? Trevor could have a cheese sandwich is the part I remember the most. Um, but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, on Disney+. Plus. 
It was it was unexpected, but it was good. Oh, you've met Chris Barry and Robert Llewellyn. Awesome. I wish I could meet them. I mean, but when you're working in television, I mean, the chances of that skyrocket, I would think. No matter who your boss is. So I like how they call this the Jade Moon, and it's not even Jade. Like, it's the it's a blue color, it's not a green color. The only person that I've met, and it wasn't even in person, it was um, on Zoom. The only person I've actually met in Doctor Who history, or any British TV for that matter, is uh, Nabil Shaban from 1986. Oh, actually, it's Shaban, I think. He played Syl in Vengeance on Varos and To Have a Time Lord. I met him in a Facebook group, and I got to get to know him a bit. So this is the Jade Moon, as they said. This is a tough, tough level. And we've just uh, got Kaysen Moore as our companion. And she is the she was the head of the 128th Tire Interceptor Squadron. But of course we just she just defected to us. No 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 no. Stop shooting at me. There we go. Boom boom boom. These turbo lasers are a pain in the butt. Alright, so we got rid of those ones. So now we have to get the shield generator down, but we gotta do it quickly. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that some of us, some of them pass away, obviously, because the show is so old, but when I saw William Russell come back on the Doctor Who recently, I was really happy about that. Ah, I wasn't happy about that, though! <laughs> and now I am no longer one of us, too. There is a speed run I can do here. Well, not a speed run in like the gaming sense, but a speed run in like how you go through the level. No, oh, no, no! Don't, don't stick on me! Don't stick on me! All right, go down. We can't get past the base shield. I know you can't get past the base shield. I am fully aware of that. I'm taking care of it. So that's the shield generator right there. Want to make sure I destroy everything in sight. Oh, one more thing I need to do. David Prowse was a wonderful chap, so yeah, David Prowse is Darth Vader's uh, body, so to speak. Oh, oh, oh. That almost hit me, but it didn't. There is a advanced shield power up here somewhere that I gotta find. There it is. No, 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 no. Okay, well, it, it did blow it up, but now I just have to make sure I don't die again. And and this is gonna become a frequent issue is not dying like we're gonna keep having to not die because we'll be on our last life it is very tricky Stay low to avoid that missile fire. but these missile turrets are a pain in the butt I thought I killed this one okay yeah pull up Technology. Good. Now, as long as we finish the level, we'll get that advanced shield technology. Now we can take out the shield generator without a problem. Yeah. Kenny Baker was uh, R2-D2, right? Did you ever meet uh, Anthony Daniels? There's the shield generator. Not an easy target. Not an easy target, huh? The angle's impossible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that was impossible. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Wedge. Okay, Rose, we're not done here. Let's clean up the remaining so now we just gotta shoot some ties, and we shouldn't die! I'm hoping we don't die, but we could. 
Just gotta find the... We need the commandos to be safe. It's more the Thai... I think there are Thai bombers here anyway. I just wish I knew where they were. Maybe there aren't. I thought there might be. Jeez, I can't hit this guy. Come on. Got him. Finally. Where's those bombers? Oh, they're right in front of me. Where's our cutter? Oh, we're losing them. Because I can't find the bombers. I don't know where they are. There's one, I think. Is it? No, that's an inter interceptor. We need to find the bombers. Here they are, here they are, here they are. How many more bombers are there? I don't even think we need to kill the interceptors. I think we just need to kill the bombers. But I'm not seeing it. Maybe I do need to kill the interceptors. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, thanks for killing him for me. You haven't met Anthony Daniels yet. Form up team. Let's get back to the ship. Nice work, Kason. Kvetch will be Stoke on Trent on October 15th. Are the bombers low rolling? Oh my god. You're fighting for your own ideals now. Yes. Alrighty, so. The bronze medal. That's probably because we missed some friendly saves at the end. And that's exactly what it was. I wonder what we would have gotten had we gotten had we not had those guys die to the bombers. I just didn't know where they were. So when it comes to the medals, at least we're getting a medal on every level. Oh, Imperial Construction Yards. I've forgotten how hard this one is. This is gonna take a while. This might take a couple of tries. This one's tricky. We gotta go back to our speeder again. Uh, we actually don't have to kill AT-ATs in this level, but we should. Moore said this is one of many small factories where the Empire produces its ties. So this is on the planet Balmora, which is a factory area. Okay, you know what? Question for both of you. Question for both of you. What is your favorite Star Wars movie of 1 through 9? I'm not counting Solo, I'm not counting Rogue One, and I'm not counting, uh, you know, any of the others. Remember, Just those nine. Those as I take out these scanners here. But if we get too close to the scanners, we fail the mission, so... So it can be a bit tricky. And as you can see, my shield is now blue, which means we have the uh, advanced shield technology. Four through six? Yeah, I think New Hope is my favorite one, too. I would say New Hope is. Alright, let's see here. Boom, that was close. That one could have easily have gotten us if we went the other way. Come on. One through six. Do you have a particular favorite of one through six? I think my favorite is A New Hope, followed by... Probably followed by Return of the Jedi. 
Alright, now I can't see. No, I don't want to activate the harpoon. So you need a lot of enemies in this one to get the gold. I remember it was some ridiculously high number, like 80 something. Alright, I get it. I get your point. But there are two targets we need to destroy the ATAT factory and the ATSD factory. Kill the kill the kill. Kill the shuttle. Also, there's advanced bombs somewhere around here. And I forget where they are exactly. Oh, that's where it was, right where I crashed. Alright. Yeah, it's five hours ahead where you are, so. Have a good night, Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Mad Studio. Thanks for joining. Alright, so I need to get those advanced bombs. Hey, Jeff! Nice of you to join us. No, 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 I need to pick that up. Pick it up. No, don't pick it up yet. First, take care of this, uh, this freaking missile turret here. I don't actually know if destroying their missiles counts as a, uh, enemy destroyed or not. I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. I got it this time. Got it. Sir, we found some bombs. So advanced bombs we're gonna need for the next level, which is Assault on Kyle too. Which you need bombs for. Jump! No! That's my second life! Only one to go. Yeah, I've got to get rid of these missile turrets or I'm going to have no chance. Got to get rid of them. Got to figure out where they're coming from, too. Da, 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 da. All dead. I'm not even going to worry about the ATSCs. Ah, I crashed into a building. At this point, I'm wondering if I'm... You know, I'm going to put on the cheat for infinite lives because I think this is at the point where it really starts to get hard and be able to do it in one try. But we got through the first six levels. Oh, hey! We got a uh, elite rogue. Flow! Flo did Prisons of Kessel. That was a very progressive run. <laughs> progressive run. Sorry, that was a horrible joke. Alright, so I'm actually going to put in the code that allows us infinite lives just so we can speed up the stream a little bit. It's not because I really want to cheat. It's just that um, I want to try and make it take only one try per level if we can. But I'm not putting on any of the other cheats because... That is kind of cheating. But the cheat for uh, Infinite Lives is called I Give Up. Which is actually kind of funny. Alright, let's head on back to Balmora. Hardware Wars. Case on Moore's information Profit Wing, what's Hardware Wars? I've base. never heard of that before. Alright, so we gotta take out those scanners again. But this time we won't have to worry about uh, dying too many times. But I'm still gonna try not to die, obviously. But... Scanning. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting a little close to those scanners. In Soviet Russia, scanners get close to you. Ah, funny. Alright, that's two down. Boom, 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 boom. Hardware Wars. Ernie Fasselius spoof of a new hope in the form of a preview. Huh. Thank you. 
Boom. I don't know who Ernie Fosselius is. Is he a uh, TV producer or a parody sketch artist? Or I actually never heard of him before. Augie Ben Doggy. They're blind. Now, they got those factories. factories. Let's do it. We should play. We should play the frantic factory music. Ding 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 ding. Boop 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 boop. Ba da ba. da 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 da. Yeah, this isn't Donkey Kong. Get that shuttle. Kill the shuttle. All right, we got the advanced bombs again. Sir, we have found some advanced... Uh, Prophet Wing, next time you're on YouTube, look up Mr. Sir by Kridoff. Because I know you like Kridoff. Look up Mr. Sir by Kridoff. It's so creepy. Ham salad, wisecracking mercenary. All right, I think I'm gonna go to the AT-AT -AT factory first. This time. It is a little trickier, that's why I was suggesting it. I'm not even gonna waste time on the AT-AT. -AT. It's just not worth the time. But no! I was trying to shoot him and then shoot the other one's missile, and I just didn't do it fast enough. Now I gotta kill these guys from behind. Because the AT-AT, -AT, like, it can't turn around. So you don't need to worry about the AT-AT. -AT. And at this point, there's not much we need to worry about at all. That's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna die instead of, you know. Ah! I love killing stormtroopers in this game. I love that generic sound it makes. I'm gonna destroy everything. If I can, I surely will. Ah! <laughs> Prophet Wing, are you enjoying this? Ah! Dun, dun, dun. Boom. I still didn't kill it. But as you can see, after three lives now, I don't die because I put that um, hint, helpful hint on. I'm going to do one more wave, and then I'm going to destroy it. Boom. All right, there goes the at, -AT factory. I'm proud to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Alright, so we're gonna go off to the left. Go back to the ATSD factory. So you get for getting in my way, buddy. So I think you have to kill something like 80 enemies in order to get a gold medal in this level. It's some ridiculous number. The turbo laser over here. I don't think I killed him. Ah. The, if I die, most of the time it's because I'm going to crash into something. That tends to be the, the case. Yeah, I did kill that turbo laser. I wasn't sure if I killed him or not. Do a barrel roll! I don't think I can do a barrel roll in this game. Yeah, because you can't even turn to the side. <laughs> I wish I could do a barrel roll, though. Guys, have you ever tried typing, uh, do a barrel roll in on Google?
Oh, there's a, uh, you're not gonna kill you. Bye. I didn't have any chance. Alright, let's finish this up. Alright, that should do it. Good shot, Jansen! It sure is nice to take the fight to the Imperials for once. Like Tans is the space disco. Defense. Thanks to Keith, we may just turn the tide of this war. Now let's head home. I need to paint some TIE fighters on my fuselage. I need to paint some TIE fighters on my fuselage. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what do we get? We got silver! Okay. Not gold. I think it was probably enemies. No, it was accuracy. that We, we actually had enough enemies. We just didn't... I think I shot at too many TIE Fighters, and I missed too many of them. That may have been part of it. Four Q2 and RD Deco, huh? Alright, I think for tonight, this is going to be our last level. This is Assault on Kyle 2. And we're going to get to use the Y-Wing. I think this is about the halfway point of the game, because I think this is the 8th level, and there are 15 levels. So we'll probably do the the next the other eight next time, other seven next time, and then we'll do bonus levels in part three. That's what I'm thinking. So for those of you who are interested in what's going on with my Halloween special this year, so uh, Damon Twenty Nine XX has given me an update. He says that Uncle Grimly is going to be featured very prominently. Uh, at least that's what he says anyway. In the next. Um, Luigi's Mansion hack that he's doing. Rogues, listen up. Kaysen has given us another And it should be location. right around, like, you know, Mischief Night, Halloween We're time. Using because of their greater firepower, but they move like a sleepy hut, so watch it. Yeah, I think it'll be... I think the 31st is a Tuesday, if I remember correctly. I don't know. He didn't mention it. And he's not online right now. All right, so this is Assault on Kyle too, and this is a tricky one. But we can use bombs to kill enemies. As a matter of fact, we, we kind of need to use bombs to kill enemies. Help me out there! Help me out there! Rear shields down! And the thing is, with bombs, you can take out multiple targets. So, like, you see these guys here? Watch this. Boom! Boom. Uh, ooh. Don't get too close, though, or that's going to happen. You just got bombazzled. Alright, I'm getting shot by something, and I'm not sure what. Oh, uh, this boogie-eyed creep. The good thing is everything you every time you die you get re more bombs, so you kinda have to die at some points, which kinda sucks. We crash the ship, bomb bomb be bomb bomb. So the first thing we need to do is take out these garrisons here. We need to take out Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison is dying. Um, I don't think it's appropriate for you to be taking out other teachers and kind. Uh, Mr. Garrison is a kind and respectful teacher, and you shouldn't be treating him that way. Uh, actually, he's not, but... <laughs> Don't argue with your guidance counselor, okay? I know I'm right about everything, okay? Alright. So, there's a missile turret here. See, this is very, very slow. So, here is the sensor array that we have to take out. But we can take out the entire sensor array very quickly with a couple of bombs. Is that it? Oh no, one more, two more dishes to go. Oh, and I got shot from behind! I got shot from behind. Alright, so all we have to do is take out this last building, boom. 
So this shuttle is going to take us to the next area, essentially. But I could also destroy it just to get the enemy count. You know, I'm gonna do that. Boom. <laughs> I just destroyed it. But sir, you destroyed the shuttle. How are you gonna find where to go now, oop doop? Well, I kinda know. I kinda know. Someone's making popcorn. I can smell it. I want popcorn. Guys, do, you, do any of you have a, like a favorite type of popcorn? Like caramel corn, kettle corn, butter? Wait a minute, look at this, guys. There are guns coming through the walls. There are lasers coming through the walls. How? Butter or cheddar for me. No, there are lasers coming out of these walls. Like, no, you are not allowed to do that. Get out of here. All right, this is the Kyle 2 spaceport which is the main area in this level, and I like to go here last for a couple of different reasons. But as you can see, the Y-Wing is actually much slower than some of the other vehicles. Didn't even scratch me. Oopsies. I had the wrong lasers out. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's take care of these missile turrets because they're going to cause havoc if I don't get rid of them. I don't know if you guys have noticed just how horrible the missile turrets are, but they're pretty bad. ARE YOU KIDDING ME? I WASN'T EVEN NEAR IT! <laughs> That's BULL! Bull crap. I was like several meters away from it. Didn't even, Didn't even scratch me. Luke, it's an ambush. So in this case, Wedge, um, Wedge is about to get kidnapped, and that's gonna lead into our next level, which is rescue on Kessel. Go Alright, we're gonna clean everything up. Boom. And that'll do it. So that was Assault on Kyle 2. Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. Excellent work. The sensor array and spaceport facilities on Kyle 2 are now inoperable. Imperial activities are sure to slow down in this sector. And so they shall. And what did we get on this one? A bronze again? Yep, we got a bronze. What did we miss? Accuracy. Mm. I thought we did pretty good with accuracy, but I guess we didn't. I mean, it's hard to tell. We are now an officer. Oh, we've been an officer. I think we got officer when we moved to silver. Okay, guys, so we're going to stop here. Uh, the next level is going to be rescue on Kessel. Where we have to rescue Wedge uh, before he gets taken to a prison on Kessel. And this is about the halfway point of the game. So I thought this would be a good time to stop, to stop playing, but um, tune in for part two. I should be doing it in a couple of days. If you like the stream, make sure to subscribe to my channel, OopDoop44 on YouTube. And I also do, you know, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Luigi's Mansion mod for Halloween. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some speed runs for Donkey Kong 64 randomizer coming up because I've been planning on doing it for a while. And I thought, why not? The randomizer I did in the summer was pretty successful, so I figured I'd do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and, uh, I will see you guys next time for Rogue Squad.